It was a life-changing opportunity they never expected. Three boys destitute on the streets of Vietnam, unable to afford even a bus trip out of the city. Now, they've not only left Hanoi, but their country too, having been given the chance to study in an Auckland college. It's a gift, but also a challenge. These boys never had any formal school education or any English lessons to speak of, but they've taken their chance and run with it. Jill Higgins caught up with them before they returned home. I used to be a shoe shy boy. I just stealing some food for, from the supermarket. I have worked on on street in Vietnam for a few years. I I was selling the candy. If, if you had seen him a few years ago, he, he was unrecognisable. He was. You know, the scraggly, dirty little street kid that, that is the stereotype of, of what street children are like. Chen's son and Khan feel their luck has turned. I never thought I, I, can, I can come back to school in Vietnam. Now I, I go to school in overseas. I never thought that. Yeah, it's, it trained a lot. Chin is studying business. I'll just give you guys a little bit of explanation about it. The other two, hospitality and English. I or I will? I will. I will. I will. They're proud to be students in New Zealand, staying in hostels or homestays, bemused by things we see as the norm. The first time I see a, a woman cutting the grass, so yeah, I, very, I, I find it very interesting, so I, I keep doing it every, whenever I have a chance to cut, to cut the grass. Yeah. In, in New Zealand, maybe some children go to school by car. In Vietnam, the poor rarely go to school at all. When I first went to Vietnam, I, I thought that I knew what, what a difficult life could be like. But, but it's very different when you actually see the kids sleeping in cardboard boxes under bridges or, or see the kids really living hand to mouth. You know, if, if they can make a dollar, they can eat. And if they can't make a dollar, then they have nothing in their, in their bellies. It's, um, it's heartbreaking. These boys' families lived like this. With so little, the parents felt the need to send their sons to the city alone to make a living. I start work at about 6 a.m. and I finished at about 7 p.m. My family is very poor. I, I, I was thinking I, I need to, to have my mum. For survive. I have no food, I have no money, I have nobody to protect me on the trees. It looked like these streets would always be their home, but a local charity found them. We're helping about a thousand kids, and that includes kids who've been trafficked, uh, kids who've been living on the street. It gave them food and shelter, and an opportunity they could only have dreamt of. The chance to go to an Auckland college for free, with the college using its own funds to cover their tuition. There are a lot of people around the world who can do with some help, really, basically. And we are doing a small way to, to help people. And I, I always wanted to, to go back to school. It means I don't have to go, go, go to, to work on street anymore. Hey, great, I'm great. How are you? And now the guy who took them off the streets back home is here to check how they're getting on. You must have thought that was a great opportunity. Oh, we're thrilled. This is a gold mine for our young people. Uh, it, because it's not just study, this is a life-changing opportunity for them. And how have the three boys been doing? Fantastically well, really. They become very confident uh, young men. I think it's wonderful for me, yeah. You know, I got uh, a lot of abilities to study overseas and I will get, uh, I'm sure I will get a better job. Lots of fans, beautiful. <laughs> Chin in particular is doing well. He's setting the pace for the rest of the class. And they'd like to see him go further. So they've got a call for help. If there are any university out there who can offer Chin a full scholarship, please contact me and I'll be very pleased to meet up with you.